Hi, Series Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain the third part of a science fiction drama television series called Under the Dome. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. On the fourth day after the dome's appearance, Julia and Barbie wake up in the same bed. Their morning is interrupted when a pregnant neighbor named Harriet knocks on the door asking for yogurt. Barbie leaves for the police station shortly after. A while later, Harriet comes out of the house and sees her husband in the street. He was out of the town when the dome fell, so Harriet assumes it must have vanished. But when she touches him, he disappears and her hand lands on the dome's surface. She is hit by a bolt of electricity which causes her water to break. Meanwhile, at Jim's home, Junior goes to Angie's room again. Upholding his vow to protect her, Jim drags his son out of the house and orders him to never return. Junior resents his father for always treating him like trash, but in this case, he has no way but to follow Jim's orders. Angie is sad about Rose's death because the woman treated her like a daughter. When she finds out her dead body is still inside the diner, she rushes to see her. Angie finds her on the kitchen counter and all the memories they had together flood in. Ben also arrives there and helps her bury the body. In the police station, Linda, Junior, and Barbie set off to look for the guys who killed Rose. They also robbed many shops in the town and have turned into a threat to everyone. Junior wants to kill them at sight since they injured Angie yesterday. However, Linda orders him to not use violence until it is absolutely needed. Following that, we are introduced to a tight-fisted farmer named Ollie. He is the only one that has a working water irrigation system and can provide running water to the town. Hence, Jim and Ollie have made a pact to trade propane and water with the people. However, Ollie betrays him and claims that the entire propane storage is his. When Jim goes to the storage, a man with a gun stops him, declaring the property belongs to Ollie. Jim walks away for the time being, but he is not someone who gives up easily. Somewhere else, Joe and Nori are trying to make a connection with the dome again. Joe proposes a theory that the dome is like an atom. The border is the electron, which means the primary particle nucleus must be in the middle. The duo set off to look for it and reach a field after walking for a while. They also have a dog that helps them navigate. When they reach nearer to the center of the dome, something scares the dog and it runs away, but the other two continue the search. In the meantime, Julia is bringing Harriet to the hospital. Suddenly, their car is stopped by the thugs who killed Rose yesterday. While Harriet cries of pain in the back seat, they try to rob them of fuel. Barbie arrives at the right time and stops them, but the thugs manage to run away. After that, they bring Harriet to Joe's house where Alice is staying. Since she is the only doctor in the town, they believe going to her will be better than going to the hospital. Alice and Carolyn quickly put the pregnant woman in a comfortable position and start helping her. They have no medical tools or medicines to make it easier for Harriet, which means they solely have to rely on Alice's expertise. Then we see Joe and Nori reach the center of the dome. They discover a smaller dome that holds a black egg inside. When they touch the dome, Alice appears in front of them and disappears right after they move their hands. Nori feels like her mother is in trouble and rushes back home. Somewhere else, Ollie visits Jim in his office and reveals his true intentions. People always thought he was inferior to Jim, so he wants to prove them wrong now that he is the main source of their resources. The two thugs from earlier are in their hideout when Linda and Junior arrive and try to arrest them. But when they retaliate, Linda has to reluctantly shoot one dead. While the other begs for his life, Junior happily kills him. Meanwhile, at the house, the delivery goes well and Harriet gives birth to a girl. She names her after Alice because without her, the delivery wouldn't have been possible. But then, Alice gets a heart attack and has to be put to bed. When it gets dark, the security guard at the propane storage is loading his truck. Jim takes aim at him with his gun and shoots, causing the car to explode and kill the guard in the process. Nori returns home to see her mother in the worst condition she has ever been. Joe also meets his sister after a week and is thankful that she is okay. Alice tells her family that this was nobody's fault and passes away. Joe can do nothing but watch Nori beg the dome to bring her mother back. The next morning, Barbie digs a grave for Alice and waits for the family to be ready to let go of the dead body. Angie goes to the diner wanting to keep running it after Rose's death. 
Since the owner of the place is Jim, it is easy for her to ask him to sell it to her. After that, Jim goes to Ollie to make amends because the town is in a food shortage and they need his help. However, Ollie is ready to starve everyone to get back at him. Jim registers they can only make Ollie help by force. Hence, he gathers Linda and Barbie and tells them of the law that says the government has the right to confiscate property at the time of crisis. He wants to use it in their favor and take over Ollie's farm. He knows that there will be retaliation from the other side, which is why he needs the help of armed police. They go to the farm but are outnumbered by armed men. Officer Carter is shot in his leg as a warning. Right then, Junior walks towards the enemy's side showing his alliance to them to get back at his father. The others have to embarrassingly return to the police station. At home, Joe tells Julia about the egg inside the smaller dome, thinking that they need the elders' help to figure out what it exactly is. Julia wants to see it for herself, so they make their way to the jungle. This time, they reach the egg when it is glowing pink. Julia tries to touch it, but the dome protects it. When she carefully touches the dome, she gets a vision of Joe standing in front of her and saying, the monarch will be crowned. As soon as she takes her hands off, the vision ends, leaving her shocked. They immediately return home after that, planning to investigate the egg tomorrow. Somewhere else, Jim wants to gather up people and attack Ollie's group to finally get the water supply back. But Barbie doesn't like the idea of fighting with their own people and suggests they divert the flow of water from Ollie's farm to another part of the town. It is also risky because the entire source of water might be destroyed, but the plan is better than starting a battle. Jim, however, doesn't agree and orders them to gear up. Linda and Barbie secretly join hands to go forward with a water diversion plan behind Jim's back. At Ollie's home, he tries to pin Junior against his father. He also reveals that the death of his mother was not just a mere accident, but she deliberately crashed her car. Junior is enraged at his father for hiding something so important from him. He assumes that Jim thought he wasn't worthy enough to know. A while later, Barbie breaks into Ollie's place to create an explosion that will divert the water flow. But before he can, Jim brings his men to attack Ollie and his people. A shootout ensues outside which distracts everyone and gives Barbie an opportunity to place the explosive. It goes off a while later and the plan works efficiently. In the heat of the moment, Junior approaches his father and knocks him out with a hit to his forehead. All of Ollie's men leave now that they cannot get water in return for their service. Ollie hands Junior a rifle and urges him to kill his father. Junior asks Jim why he hid the cause of his mother's death and finds out Jim didn't want to hurt him. No matter their differences, he genuinely loves his son, which is why Junior cannot get himself to kill him as well. As Ollie tries to do the job, Junior shoots him dead, helping Jim. Sometime later, Jim is in his office with Barbie who is not happy about the five deaths that were caused in the shootout. He has realized that Jim only thinks of the people to keep himself in power. The next morning, Julia brings Barbie to the woods to show him the egg from yesterday. But to her surprise, the egg, alongside the dome, is missing. Barbie gets a call from Linda who urgently needs him somewhere. It turns out, a man named Ted accidentally shot a bypasser while firing at a trespasser on his property. The trespasser is a junkie who has gone insane after not getting a fix for weeks. He claims that he used to buy pills called the Rapture from Lester. Barbie and Linda are shocked that a mortician was selling illegal medicine to the teens. They go to his house and find the supplies he used to make the rupture. The most interesting part about it is that propane is the main ingredient in it. Considering the fact that the town somehow has a large supply of propane, Barbie and Linda start suspecting Jim. At the same time, Junior goes to the diner to meet Angie. She asks him to go away, but he insists that he is not there to harm her. He still believes the dome is making her sick somehow, which Angie thinks is a bluff. But right then, she gets a seizure like her brother and Nori. While struggling, she also says the pink stars are falling. Then we are introduced to a wealthy businesswoman, Max. She is the main dealer who supplied propane to the town so Jim's people could create the rupture and distribute it for money. She came to meet him on the day the dome appeared and has been living in an abandoned house ever since then. She has come out at the right time and wants to take advantage of Chester's Mills crisis for her own profit. Junior, on the other hand, is driving Angie to her home. 
She is panicking in the back of his car, scared that she will be held captive again, which is why she is surprised when he actually leaves her home. He also claims that he always knew she was going to be sick because of the dome as she did today. Inside the house, Julia and the kids are talking about the ex's disappearance. Angie walks in and tells them about the seizure. The group realizes the seizures are definitely not a coincidence, and the three of them have been chosen for a specific task related to the dome. Nori notices that Angie has a butterfly tattoo on her back that resembles the butterflies that were attracted to the dome. However, the others do not think much of it. To keep the town safer, Jim wants to seize everyone's guns, but knows people will retaliate if they are forced. Hence, instead, he announces that they are organizing a gun turning in program. No one will be forced to give up their firearms, but the ones who do will get extra food and water. Nori and Joe are desperate to look for the egg again. Hence, they take their dog and go on a search, relying on his abilities. Angie goes to meet Junior in the police station. She thinks he might know something about the dome since he always insisted that the dome is making her sick. Junior brings her to his house to show her something. It turns out his mother was a painter before her death. One night, he had a very vivid dream which she drew on a canvas. In her dream, Junior is standing on a hill and pink stars are falling from the sky. Junior doesn't know what made him think Angie is sick, but his instinct told him so. In the diner, people gather to give up their firearms except for Ted, the guy who shot the passerby earlier. Barbie and Jim go to his house where Jim finds him seconds away from doing the unthinkable. Ted lost his wife in an accident when the dome first appeared and doesn't want to live anymore. Jim convinces him otherwise and sends him to the hospital. In the meantime, Linda comes to the propane storage space to investigate who is importing them in. She goes through the CCTV footage and sees the former sheriff and Max making a deal. It is evident they had to do something with the import, but Linda doesn't want to believe the sheriff was a bad person. After that, Max meets Barbie and kisses him. Barbie reveals that she is his boss who he doesn't enjoy working with. Max has dirt on Barbie and Jim, which gives her power over both of them. To keep their secrets from coming out, they will have to agree to whatever she says. When she and Barbie are alone, Max calls him out for killing Peter. He had called her frantically that morning and now that Peter is missing, she puts two and two together. She threatens to tell Julia about her husband's death if he tries to double cross her. After an entire day of searching, Nori and Joe do not find the egg, but they return home at night to see it is in the shed. Angie says that Joe brought the egg home last night, but he doesn't remember a thing. They slowly touch the dome and their hands act as a key to opening it. However, they need a fourth hand to complete the lock. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.